Well, hello, my friendly shoppers. Today we are hitting at TJ Maxx um, here in Oceanside, California. Um, this this particular store is probably one of the neatly, most neatly organized stores. I absolutely love it. Their selection of handbags does not disappoint as well. These nice leather, these are kind of like the backpack. It's a little hard to tell sometimes with this light. It was more like a brown burgundy color. Um, really, really pretty. It was $79.99. We have, and there's a lot of high-end brand, brand, brands too. Now, the Juicy Couture, it depends on what people think. Uh, but there's some really gorgeous bags. So this particular one is $89.99. And, oh my goodness, I fell in love with this bag. Look at that rose quilt design. I'm normally not a gold hardware type of person, but for this bag, I was willing to make that exception. It was so beautiful. It's so soft. I love buttery, buttery soft bags. And look at all of these gorgeous bags. This one was, that one was $100, $99.99. I just like to round up to $100. So a lot of these bags did range from $59 um, up to um, $200. And so up to $199.99. That's because they are a little bit higher in bags. So here's a Betsy Jans Johnson Overnight Weekender bags. Uh, I was actually I'm looking for another black skull Bets Betsy Johnson. My daughter loved the purse and wants one for herself. So I'm on that quest to look for one for her. And But of course, as I'm shopping at these bags, oh, I am just... I'm becoming, as, as older as I get, I do become a sucker for really nice quality bags. And but like I said, if, if some of these just have look more higher end and they may not be the higher end prices. Now, this is definitely not the higher end as we talked about, like uh, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Burberry. That is a whole nether level of luxury items. We're just going to stick on more of the lower, lower luxury items. I'm not sure what you want to call it, but um, you get my meaning. We're not like a bag I have in my hand at Louis Vuitton. Oops, and I dropped it. That bag would be $3,000. So that kind of prices doesn't happen at TJ Maxx. But if you do happen to find a Louis Vuitton TJ Maxx for um, under $100 or under $500, um, grab it. Actually, if it's $1,000 and below, grab it. Uh, make sure it's authentic though <laughs> and so like I said I'm kind of going through and see some of these brown bags and really I look at these because uh, my mother likes a good brown bag and so normally I do buy it for her because I, I go to these places and so I just kind of like to shop around like I like that one that was like one of those like old bags that you would see like a good old bag I'd say maybe let's say vintage that vintage leather is that brown you don't ever see I don't know if you're if you're an older age group <laughs> you would understand um it's that brown bag it's kind of hard to explain but um and uh, these coach bags those were 150 um, in this video, we're going to see different colors. I really like that style. I'm not normally a huge coach bag person. I don't like the coach bag with the the logo all over it. That's not my, it's just not my cup of tea. But I do like the solid colored coach bags too. And like I said, there were just so many. If you are wanting to do a bag haul and you have $1,000 and you want to get a few bags, but you want some luxury items, psh, hit the TJ Maxx. And you know, there's several ones I am planning. Now look at that, like this coach bag. I really like that. So that was 150. It's a good size bag. I am a bigger bag type of person. And I think it's just, oh, I just carry so much stuff. So this particular coach bag with the logo all over it, that was uh, 119. Yeah, that's, those are the ones that they are not my cup of tea. But some of these, like, like, I like this black and white one, too. And like I said, there, and if, you know, if this is not your budget, uh, there was definitely some lower, lower price bags, too. Because, you know, everybody has their own budget, especially in the beginning of the year. You're wanting to save up some extra money. Uh, or you spent way too much money during the holidays. I get it. But if you get a tax refund, 
I don't know, are we getting another stimulus check? Who knows? But, but if you, you know, if you have a little extra and you want to buy yourself something nice, as you would say, treat yourself. And But you want to save some money and get extra things. Um, this is definitely the store to go. I was <laughs> moving that down because I wanted to see the bag behind it. Now, I like that. That was kind of like a little weekender bag. And I was trying to, I know, it's so hard to sometimes see the prices. And what I'm even in the store is hard for me. But I did like that. And sometimes it's a nice, like, you kind of call it like a gym bag. Or just an extra bag to carry a bunch of extra stuff. Or a diaper bag, too. And I would do, I was doing that the, like, the last year of my daughter was a toddler. All right, so here is the light. I was mentioning that coach bag earlier. Here is the light pink version, super buttery soft. Um, Duty and Burke. Now, that's something I don't always see in stores. Usually, I see like a Disneyland with all the characters. Um, here's that same coach bag. Now, they have, like I said, you can see several, they have a lot of the same ones, too. So, this is kind of going through some of these bags. There was like, I've seen Jessica Simpson. I had no idea she had her own bags. But yeah, it's like I said, you see the multiple of these, these kind of like, it was like a mauve. Now there is another Betsy Johnson. That is a, the pink embossed hearts. We're looking for the skulls. <laughs> kind of going through some of these red. Now that was, I like that bag too. I like a good crossover bag. I like the straps on it. Now the heart one, that was cute. My daughter would like that as well. And it's just kind of going through and like I said, with the handbags, you definitely wanted to take your time and go through them. And then some of the store, usually this doesn't take me so long, but this store had just had so many nice bags. It was definitely a real treat. And if you are returning to our channel, I want to thank you so much for coming back. If you are new to this channel and this is kind of content you like, uh, we do daily shopping videos. And hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any of these. That was so cute. Yeah, like I said, I, if I could, I would have easily dropped over a thousand dollars here just buying several of these bags I'm still if I just had to pick one actually there's another one coming up but if I like that quilted like I said that first that rose quilted with the gold hardware oh that was just just so pretty and a lot of these bags these bags are tied down you can't exactly just grab them and take them to the register you gotta let them know and I'm sure they're protecting all of their bags now this was an interesting bag, but it had a crack on the back. Cute little Christmas. So try to. It's like oh, busted. It's just like inventory that out. Just get rid of it. Nobody's gonna want that. Like I said, I'm loving these quilted bags. And several of these coach bags were on clearance too. Now that one was the DK and Y. And it was on clearance. Now let me know what your favorite handbags are. Do you have a favorite brand? I know a lot of people love the lounge fly. And the lounge fly is good and it's and it's fun, but sometimes if you want to, you know, definitely you don't want any characters or anything on your bag, step it up a notch. So I have a couple of lounge fly bags. Now this green bag. Oh, I'm gonna go back to here. This the now that's a gray leather coach bag. I like that one as well. I had, like I said, they had several of those. I'm about to go back to, not that one, the green one behind it. 
That one was beautiful. That was such a beautiful green. And I love the shape of it. I was showing my husband. I go, look at, look at what I saved you. Because, oh, I love that bag. It was absolutely gorgeous. I was trying to see the inside. It was dark. <laughs> now there's another, the coach. That was more almost like a purple. No, it's the same as that one. It really depends on what light you hit it, but it was that like blue, gray, purple light. You know what I mean? Sometimes you buy, and I'm sure, have you purchased something and then the store light looks different and you brought it home and it looks like a completely different color? I've done that. Now that was a pretty blue as well. I've done that many times. That was cute. So we decided to kind of take to the store. Like I said, there wasn't really uh, that many people. Once you walk out, a lot of them were in the handbags, but I don't blame them. Cause there were some really nice handbags and like i said this was um, a really nice store this is actually the first time i've driven by this several times this is the first time i actually did pop in because i've seen it right off the freeway and i kept going oh oh i'm going to stop and go in there because half time is when we're heading home my husband's too tired to stop <laughs> So, some, so I decided to go check out their home department to see what they have. I know a lot of the stores are going through inventory, so they're not exactly as filled as normal as you would normally see it. Plus, a lot of times, even after the holiday, you know, stores, they're, they're bought out. They haven't fully replenished. You got the, you would think it's just this champ. I think it's short for champagne. But those are tiny. Those are tiny champagne bottles. Now, of course, I found some of the Chris their Christmas. It was so funny. I was like, oh, I'm going to grab this. It is heavy. And so I put it down with the meaning of going back. And after I was shooting this, I went to the restroom. And completely walked out of the store. I totally forgot. I totally forgot after I was like halfway home. I was like, oh well, maybe this just wasn't meant to be. So the nice big joy. Now I've seen the cheers. I haven't seen the joy. That was marked down to $10. The store had a couple of really cool um, Ray Dunn items. So I'm trying to sneak back and find what that was clearance. It was cute, but uh, I just got through packing all of my Christmas items. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to pack anymore. But like I said, if you are uh, a puzzle person or game person, there's a lot of still a lot of puzzles that they have because they really stocked up on the puzzles and they're all clearance too. Now this was an interesting find. Elfish, I have not seen this particular one. And that was on clearance for 16. But like I said, I I passed. Well, also at the moment I didn't want to carry anything <laughs> too. That's like with the tissue holder. I was like, oh, I'll just go back and I'll go back and grab it at the end. So I was wondering, because there's two of them. I was wondering what the odds of somebody buying both. <laughs> Now that looked like it was Christmas, but it wasn't marked down. So it was like with the reindeer. Now it's funny, I have every, t I have tumblers for like every season, except for Valentine. Well, I have an old, old Starbucks Valentine tumbler. Like it was before that it was like, oh my good. I, I would say it's probably about 15 years old. So I'm just kind of checking out what they have on their Valentine's table. Uh, he was cute. And he was not marked down. <laughs> so 
Definitely check this out. So everybody, thank you so much for coming along and we will see you tomorrow. Take care and stay safe.